that today we rescued some baby bunnies that were abandoned and rejected by their mother. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those that are new here, well I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that today we rescued some baby bunnies that were abandoned and rejected by their mother. If you want to know where these baby bunnies came from, how they're doing now, what the heck is going on with these baby bunnies, well guys, you are in the right place and I'm going to go hop in my car because my sister Hannah actually has these baby bunnies. She She's taking care of them, so if you guys want to check these baby bunnies out, well guys, we're going to head over there right now. One hour later. Alright guys, I just got over here to my parents' house and Hannah is actually just about to bring out her rescued rabbits. I'm going to get into all the details of how these rabbits were rescued, the situation and circumstance in which they were in. But first, we're actually going to be setting up a little outdoor playpen for the rabbits like I was telling you guys. I think I'm going to do it right here. It's nice and shaded right now, but there's a little bit of sun bleeding through. Before we set up the playpen, before you see the rabbits, well I want to show you guys my sister's dog. We got Tori, the new dog. Dog, and Tori is still a little bit scared. Tori, please come to me, please. And we got Mr. Duke. Duke is in the craziest position. Duke is just hanging out, resting. Hello, Duke. Would you like some belly rubs? You look like you want belly rubs right here. You want some belly rubs right here. You get the best rubs in the world. And we have Mr. Cody Monster right here. Cody Bear. Come here, Coda. So Coda is my sister's Catahoula. If you guys are on her channel, you know who she is. But Tori, Tori, come here. For some reason, Tori does not like me one bit. Tori won't really even let me get near her. I'm not sure. Now, Tori's actually just like it, Zeus and Xena. Tori's actually just like Zeus and Xena, and she's actually an African borble. So the plan is actually to pair Tori with Zeus so we can get some cool borble pups. And I'm actually going to keep probably three of the puppies for my property as protection dogs. You know, we already have two fully trained guard dogs. Now we want to have a couple of more. So hopefully Tori and Zeus will make some good puppies. But guys, let's stop talking about doggos. Let's actually get over to our rabbit area. Hannah should be coming out any minute now. Like I was telling you guys, we got some rescued rabbits. We're going to be hanging out with them. We're going to be giving them treats. I don't even know how many rabbits there are. Hannah just told me she's got a bunch of rabbits. But right over here, like I was saying, is where we're gonna put our little rabbit playpen. Right next to our birds, we got all kinds of cool birds in here that are my sisters. We got some green cheek conures that are not very nice. You Hello sir, what's this here? Ow, he just bit me. If anyone's thinking about getting a pet bird, I don't recommend getting a green cheek conure like we have here. Hannah actually hand raised one of our green cheek conures here. And even though she hand raised him, he's still really mean. Please not bite me, please. Please, ow, ow, ow. Whoa, buddy, that was not nice. Guys, do you see that right there on my knuckle where he bit me? That really hurts. All right, I know the playpen is in here somewhere. We got a whole mess of a shed. This is going to be kind of hard. So the playpen is not here. Oh, here it is right here. So these are like these little panels that we use. Let me just pull one out right now. It's really hard. Get it. Right here. So we got like 10 of these panels. So we're actually going to take these panels right here. And we're actually going to set them up. So, and when you actually take these panels and you set them up, it's actually a nice sized little pen that you can actually have any animals, whether it be a baby otter, a baby tiger, little rabbits, as a little baby playpen. All right, so we got all the panels here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight panels, which is going to be pretty nice. You can see they're all pretty big. So we're going to set this up in a second. But we have a little stray cat. Come here, kitty. Can I pet you? Hello, come here, child. Come, hello. Hey, where are you going? Come here! Don't run from me! Don't run away! Hello! Oh, I caught you. I got pets. I pet your butt. All right, we're going to take these panels over like three or four at a time, but I'm going to give Hannah a call now and see if she can help me set this up. All right, so Hannah just made it outside. Hannah, are you excited for today's video? Yes, I'm very excited. So today, again, we are going to be setting up this playpen. Hannah's going to be helping me out today. So Hannah, how many rescued rabbits? You just told me you had rabbits, but I have no idea how many rabbits you have. How so many? we have three rescued three? rabbits. Yes. Three rescued, wait, how old are they? They're probably about, I would say, five weeks old now. Five-week-old baby Six rabbits. Old, yeah. I love rabbits, but the only thing is I'm actually deathly allergic to rabbits. But that's okay. I took my allergy medicine because we're going to be hands-on getting down and dirty with these rabbits today. So we're going to be setting up this playpen in this area right here. So, guys, let's get a time-lapse going. And Hannah and I, we're going to set this thing up. Thank you. 
Guys, our playpen is ready to go, and honestly, it looks really good. We've used this before, but it's been a couple of years. Hannah, this is awesome. It really is. So this is, again, going to be just a supervised play area since we don't have a top for it. we got to watch out for hawks. That's why it's only going to be supervised. The hawks will actually swoop down and could actually pick up these rabbits, take them away. But it is not ready for our rabbits yet because we want to make it nice and decorated, make it kind of like a home for the rabbit. So Hannah, why don't we go through this bin right here of goodies that we have. So we have all kinds of stuff for our rabbits. So first and foremost, we got this really nice tunnel. And oh, oh. <laughs> Hannah, I am so sorry. All right, Hannah, get the tunnel in. We're gonna give them a nice little tunnel so they can kind of hide in there. That's part of it. And then we've got a little hide, a little clear hide for them. So we're gonna put that hide, I think like, maybe like right over here. We're gonna put that hide on in and we got a couple more goodies in here. So we got some hay. I don't know, what are they gonna use this for? I guess they'll kind of chew on You put that. treats in it and they can forage through it. Yep, so we have a natural enrichment feeder. I actually haven't seen that before. It's actually really cool for the cats and even the monkeys. You could hide different nuts and stuff. For the rabbits, we can hide treats in there for them. And we have a little enrichment ball, a little foraging ball that they can kind of chew their teeth on. So let's kind of give that a nice toss on in there. We got that. And we've got our enrichment feeder. So we're actually going to be stuffing this with some hay in here so that rabbits can actually forage for some hay naturally. So we're going to throw that on in there. This is complete. This is our nice little rabbit setup area here. Now Hannah's going to go get those rabbits. So we're just going to get the door open so we can put them in right now. We got our door open. Our playpen is complete. And now the moment all of you guys have been waiting for you guys are gonna meet the new three baby bunnies you guys are gonna get their rescue story you're gonna find out how Hannah came across them is it a crazy story I actually don't it, even know myself it's a pretty crazy story it's a crazy story so guys if you want to know how we got these rabbits well guys stick around and you're gonna find out oh here she comes Hannah's here with our rabbit friend and it's so tiny Oh, this is probably one of the smallest rabbits I've ever seen, Hannah. Yes, it's Wait, very little. So we got one rabbit, so you're bringing them out one by one? Yes. So Hannah's going to bring them out one by one. Why don't you release them? Release them on in. So Hannah's going to release our rabbit right now in three, two, one. Oh my gosh, he's so tiny. Now guys, just for comparison, I'm not sure if you can see it, but you can see he's just so tiny. He's coming right over to sniff my shoes. He's coming over to this enrichment feeder. So Hannah, I'm going to hang out with him, and why don't you get the other ones? All right. What should we name him? This guy is really cool. And wait, is he going in his house? Oh, it looks like he might be trying to eat some weeds. He's investigating. Coda is interested in our little rabbit. Coda, what is this thing? So right now, this little rabbit is going to get to forage on all the natural grasses and weeds that are growing inside of here, which is natural for them. And we have our hay enrichment feeder. But Coda's sniffing him. Coda has no idea what this is. Coda, you be nice to him, okay? And here's our second rabbit. I honestly think I like this one better than the first one, Hannah. It's really cute. Really, Look, really is cute. Is it albino? I can't yes. tell. Yes. So we have an albino rabbit and why don't you let them on in, Hannah? All and right. do we know um, whether they're boys, girls? What are we dealing with today? We have three girls. So I actually took them to the vet and they said there were three girls. Three girl yes. rabbits. So I'm going to hang out with this little one right here while Hannah gets the third rabbit. This one's really cute and he's really calm. You can see he's just letting me pet him. Oh, wait. oh I think he's munching a nibble. Oh, he's eating grass. Look at him. He's so cute. Look, our black rabbit has made it into the tunnel. Look at this. He's just hanging out in the tunnel. That's exactly what we want. He's hanging out, having a good time. Our white one is just kind of exploring the area, figuring out what's going on in here. Hey, buddy, look, I have some hay for you. It's really good. We got two bunnies on the loose, on the prowl, and we have our third rabbit of the day here. So we got another albino rabbit. Hannah, let's yes. introduce them. Let's hang out with them. All right, we're gonna let them on in and hang out. So this is really cool to kind of see them hanging out inside of this playpen here. Let me step out so I can give everyone like a really good perspective of this. So we wanna keep this shut obviously so we don't have any escapees, but we're gonna hang out here. We're not gonna leave them unattended, especially cause we have the dogs. There's hawks that could catch them, but to actually just see them hanging out in here, it's really good for them. The natural vitamin D from the sunlight is gonna be really good for the rabbit's coat. It's good for us humans. It's really good for just any animal to be out in the sunlight and enjoy the sun. Now with the albino, Binos, you want to give them limited sun exposure because they have those red eyes and they can be more sensitive but limited sun is good so Hannah why don't you finally tell me and tell everyone how you rescued these rabbits what the heck happened with them I want to know everyone is wondering so tell me so this guy on Facebook actually posted that the mother rabbit was no longer feeding the babies no longer feeding the yes. babies so 
was he not hand feeding them or well he didn't have time to hand feed them and there was i think about three or four more he uh -huh. already gave those other ones away by the time i got there and these were the last three and i just couldn't leave them well i am so happy that we were able to rescue these rabbits because it sounds like these rabbits would have otherwise not made it if hannah didn't see the post wait did you find the post did someone send it to you i found the post hannah found the post so because of hannah's good investigation work we were able to save these rabbits and they're just hanging out obviously living their best life running in tunnels eating grass and just being rabbit kids so we don't have names for these rabbits yet so i need you guys to comment down below either individual names for our three girl rabbits or a squad name for all the rabbits guys let me know down below and we're gonna pick a winner i'm gonna sit in here and hang out with these rabbits for about the next 45 minutes i'm gonna get to know each and one of them individually and well that my friends is going to end today's episode i hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's rabbit rescue video if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment down below a name for our rabbits and guys if you're not subscribed yet to me you want to see more of these rabbits you want to see tigers lions turtles and tortoises and all kinds of crazy animals well guys all you have to do is go right now hit the subscribe button tap that little notification bell and you'll be notified whenever i post